Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see small signal equivalent circuit and its analysis for the MOSFET amplifier. In the previous video, we have seen the total drain voltage and the total drain current and also the small signal voltage and the small signal current. And again, if you recall that the total drain voltage or we call it as the instantaneous voltage at the drain terminal that is small v capital D will be represented as a DC quantity that is VDD plus a small signal voltage that is VD. And similarly, total drain current will be represented as small i capital D that is the instantaneous current flowing through the drain terminal. It will be equal to the DC component of the current that is ID plus small signal current ID. So this is what we have already discussed. Now let us see the small signal equivalent circuit for this common source amplifier what I have taken as an example. So the thing is that while analyzing with respect to the small signal what we are applying as an input for amplification we need to write the small signal equivalent circuit. For that we need to neglect the DC values. So for small signal analysis now the what is the input voltage it is VGS what we have taken as input signal that is the small signal. For this input signal the current flowing through the drain is gm into vgs how we get this expression means the current small id will be equal to kn dash w by l vgs minus vt into small vgs this is what the current expression we got in the second term if you look at the previous video so this is what id and if we represent gm that is transconductance that is kn dash w by l into vgs minus vt so this term becomes now it is gm so the current expression will be gm into vgs this is how we can write the small signal current flowing through the device and the small signal voltage and if you look at the resistance parameters obviously input resistance will be very high that is infinite we can say in the mosfet why because current flowing into the mosfet will always be zero because of the SiO2 layer present over here. It will not allow the gate, uh, gate current to flow into. And if you look at the output resistance, this will also be considered as infinite by neglecting the channel length modulation. Why? Because we know that the device will be in saturation region. In the saturation region, if we consider the current flowing through the device, that ID will be independent of the drain voltage. Here we are measuring the output resistance at the drain terminal that is the output terminal. So current is independent of the drain voltage means we can say output is infinite. So by considering that input resistance and the output resistance are infinite for the small signal analysis. Now we can say this MOSFET is a voltage controlled current source. Why it is voltage controlled current source? We are going to apply VGS and we are controlling the current at the output terminal that is ID. Now let us look at the small signal equivalent circuit for this common source amplifier. Here we need to look at while writing the small signal equivalent circuit the transistor need to be replaced by the equivalent model that is what I said it is a current source. Now we need to replace the transistor by current source and the second thing is that ideal DC constant voltage sources need to be replaced as I said. DC constant sources what we have need to be replaced by the short circuit. So if you write the small signal equivalent circuit it look like this. You can see this is the gate terminal, this is source terminal and this is drain. In between drain and source you can see here this is drain, this is source we will be having MOSFET. This MOSFET is replaced by a current source. Now this is the current source in between drain and source. And what we have at the gate terminal, this is gate and we know that there is no current from the gate, IG is equal to 0, but we will be having VGS, that is the small signal what we have applied. So there is an open circuit between gate to source with small VGS and in between drain to source we will be having a constant current source. This is the small signal equivalent circuit by neglecting channel length modulation. What happens if we consider channel length modulation? By considering channel length modulation, we say the current what we are 
taking here that is id it becomes dependent on the vds now till now we say the current id will only be depending on the small signal we are applying that is vgs and it is not dependent on vds by considering the channel length modulation the current becomes this id becomes dependent on vds so we will be getting a finite resistance at the output r not i said output resistance will be infinite but here while considering the channel length modulation this becomes finite and r not will be added up with the transistor equivalent circuit that is current source now this is the small signal equivalent circuit by considering channel length modulation r not can be written as va divided by id where this va comes this va is 1 divided by lambda these va and lambda are channel length modulation parameters that will be explained in the other video you can see that and here id will be equal to 1 by 2 kn dash w by l v just minus vt whole square this id and this r not now it will be dependent on vds so r not is in the range of 10 kilo ohm to 1000 kilo ohm and we can include r not now with this rd in gain expression this is voltage gain now including channel length modulation gain expression will be minus gm into rd parallel with r not and coming to the transconductance here it is just an another approach for the transconductance we know that this is the transconductance expression and also we know that current dc current that is id is equal to 1 by 2 kn dash w by l vgs minus vt whole square and here in the gm expression if you see we will be having vgs minus vt by taking this id expression and rearranging for getting the expression for vgs minus vt this becomes under the root 2 id divided by kn dash w by l if you are going to replace this vgs minus vt by this expression we are going to get the expression for gm as root 2 into kn dash into root w by l into root id now we can say this gm transconductance is proportional to the dc current under the root and also proportional to the size of the transistor or geometry that is w by l channel length and channel width so we can conclude that if we consider bjt bipolar junction transistor where the transconductance will be dependent only on the current dc current not on the size of the device but in the mosfet transconductance will be depend on current as well as size of the device this is how we can conclude the transconductance by considering the size and current this is about the small signal analysis in the next video let us see the other concepts of mosfet amplifiers thank you